Well, she's a multi-award winning author, chef and broadcaster with a New Zealand Order of Merit, as well as jet-setting around the world, writing about food and travel and hosting gastronomic tours. She has also been putting together her latest book, and she is here now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Peter Mathias. Yeah! Peter. <laughs> it's wonderful to have you with us. So this, this here, is, it's a memoir of sorts. Um, what's it been like writing it? Therapeutic? Well, Hard? well Easy? no, not... Mm, sort of. of I mean, that when you're writing a memoir, you think, well, nobody's going to be interested. I mean, God. Um, <laughs> but then if you go back into family stuff, I did find myself weeping into the keys of my laptop. But actually, the memoir didn't take that long to write. It was, the book took three years to write because the house took three years to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is meant to be a six-month project. So, um... That's why the book took so long to write. Mm. So you, you are living the dream, really, aren't you? Flying around the world, putting your fingers in different pies, and I guess that's what the book is all about. I mean, it's titled Never Put All Your Eggs in One Beep, One Bastard. Are, one you, not, basket. are you allowed to say that? I don't word? know. I'm too late. I've said it now, well, haven't I? <laughs> I misread that a long uh, for, saying it I know, was basket for a long time. Does. And went, but actually it means, it really does mean never put all your eggs in one right, basket. Right, so diversification. Diversify. Embrace plan B. Don't just do one thing in your life. I'm not saying you should have four husbands. <laughs> Maybe not diversify on to that level, but certainly professionally, um, have several skills so that if one job disappears, mm. then you're not left weak. Right, I needed yeah. that about two weeks ago, things. Peter. <laughs> yeah, you actually did, by the way. Um, it's not too late to learn to cook. True, true. And your, and your cooking school in France, yes. Yeah. You're talking in this book about, uh, you say it took you three years to renovate, because you you buy a house in Ousses, isn't it, in the south of France? Yes. Because you've been going there for years and renting, yes. but you yeah. decided that you were actually going to buy, because yes. that seemed like a sound idea, and you thought, oh, I'll renovate, well, the reason, how hard can it be? Yeah, the reason the reason I decided to buy was because I, um, I teach cooking classes in Uzes for the French summer and I was sick of teaching always in a different kitchen because yeah. I always rented houses and I thought, God, why don't I just buy a little simple place and that has a decent kitchen and then it'll be much easier and um, that so is not what happened. But have you ever seen any of those numerous shows where people mm -hmm. go to the French countryside yep. and they buy a house to renovate and everything goes horribly wrong? And I just used to watch those shows and think, those people are just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. So what, what went wrong? Was it? Well, nothing went wrong. It was just that it took a long time because people are very relaxed in the south of France. And also, I bought a heritage house on a heritage street in a heritage town. And so then the monument, what's called the Monument de France, which is a heritage association, come in and they control the build. And they have to do all their searches, they have to go into the foundations of the building and check it, because it's a very old town, who says. It's a, it's a 16th, it's part of a 15th century, mm. and it's a very historical town. So they have to check that there are not remains, important remains, underneath your house well, before like you build on top. Like skulls. I had a friend who found a skull in their yeah. house in France. Mm. Yeah, skeletons, um, gold, papers. Also, but there was nothing. And by the time they had half destroyed my house, um, we decided to just completely rebuild it. Really. Well, obviously, this book touches a lot of different subjects. Well, yes, because when you write a memoir, you, you if you've had a long and eventful life, You've got a lot of things to say, but there's a lot of things that you have to choose to leave out as well because you can't say everything because it's too boring and too long. But um, at the end of the book, I kind of came to the conclusion that, um, that, that you have to be aware. First of all, you have to be aware of what your path might be in life mm -hmm. and stick to it in spite of what advice other people might give you. Because people are trying to protect you. They don't want you to take risks. But you have to take risks mm. in order to have um, a rewarding life. That's absolutely right, you do. And you've got this incredible show, this stage show that you're doing as well. Yeah. I want you to tell me about this because <laughs> this involves pretty much everything, isn't it? It's like an old-fashioned variety show. Oh, it's, it's a one-woman show and it's um, produced by Jeff and Jane Avery, who also helped me on stage. And I do a bit of everything. There's a food segment, there's mm. an agony art segment, um, there's singing in French. 
Really? No. Yeah. You speak French in a different voice to what you speak English, don't you? Well, like you you've do. Got a different tone. You do tend to. Um, you, I, I speak French more more quickly and in a, in a lower voice. Can you give us a little example, really quickly? Bah, je parle français uh, dans un sens complètement différent Ooh. que quand je parle oh. anglais. Oh. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I've no idea what you said. And you should <laughs> and do, I should your partner's yeah. French. That's right. Um, okay, so you, you sing. You got your cooking show. You've got your agony art. And I read from the book. Right. And and talk oh. about my tours, my culinary tours. Oh, yeah. okay, a couple and of dates. And it's days. fun, you know, the yes. audience participate. Well, good. It's been so nice chatting to you because, um, been... yeah, incredible, eh? Absolutely yeah. wonderful. Um, Thank you. Now, Peter's latest book, Never Put All Your Eggs in One Beep Stid, <laughs> is available now and you're currently on tour. So you can check out her website for all of the details. Peter, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank good you. luck for the rest of the tour.